it's a on paper you see you see both guys and this is a very dangerous fight for uh for ryan garcia um it's not gonna be a walk in the park but i still feel i still feel ryan garcia is gonna is gonna really make a statement uh in this fight i think you know the fact that he has um a lot of doubters he has a lot of um a lot of people like you know maybe whispering in his ears you know uh, he hears those whispers every single day you know and about how he can't do it he can't be a world champion he can't be this guy can't be that guy they yeah, that's 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 fuel to the flame and i think i think this is the perfect fight for ryan garcia this is the perfect fight where he can really come out and shine and and become a superstar what's up it's your boy remus and we are doing a news update we're doing some reports on this channel now I want to be a bit more consistent, so uh, all of 2021, I'm going to be bringing you guys the latest uh, in the boxing news, you know, so you don't have to go to the blogs or you don't have to go to different pages. We're going to do it right here, but don't worry, I'll still do still do the other types of videos as well, so that's no problem. But as you see here on this, um, you know, previous video, we're speaking about Ryan Garcia versus Luke Campbell. And as you, you know, see uh, Oscar De La Hoya saying is, this is a tough challenge. You know, Luke Campbell, um, he's a good fighter. He's a very solid fighter. He's a fighter with a lot of amateur experience. And these guys are always tough to go through, especially if the other guy doesn't have a, a lot of experience. You know, but I expect, uh, you know, Ryan Garcia to, you know, I expect him to win. You know, I know a lot of people, probably a lot of you guys, uh, don't rate him that highly and I can see why you know we call him a social media boxer IG boxer and what and that stuff um, and I think when we think about the top of the pack like Javante Davis, Teofim, Teofimo Lopez and Devin Haney for me personally I don't rank Ryan Garcia that highly um, I think I'd put him at the bottom of the pack you know but um I definitely think he is better than what a lot of us give him uh, credit for just because of, you know, the all, all of the Instagram stuff, you know. That doesn't take away from him. He could be a great fighter. But let's just discuss the actual fight, right? I think when it comes to Luke Campbell, I think he's going to bring something that uh, Ryan Garcia hasn't seen. And this is perfect at this level when you're progressing. But it's, it is kind of funny because you see how people are never satisfied. A lot of people say, oh, he's not fighting someone good enough. Um, now he's fighting someone good enough. People say, oh, um, it's too soon. So you can you can never actually please everyone, you know. But this is the type of fight you're supposed to go to to basically uh, certify that you're able to challenge challenge for the title. Uh, Luke Campbell is going to bring that good jab to the table, you know, he's going to bring that um, steady boxing, you know, that you see in fighters or the appreciation of boxing that you see in, in fighters that have come from uh, the Olympics with a good amateur background. There'll be a few sneaky tricks in there that maybe he even picked up from guys like uh, Lomachenko or, or the other, um, I can't remember the other guy he faced for the title, but, you know, you guys probably know. Um, yeah, he's going to bring that to the table and Ryan Garcia is going to have to overcome that. And when he overcomes that, we're going to see where he's really at. I think my prediction personally is Ryan Garcia is going to win. Um, I don't think he's going to do it in emphatic, uh, um, like in, in an emphatic way, like a knockout or a devastating stoppage. I don't think that's going to be the case, but you could tell me if you think otherwise, I think it's more going to be a tough back and forth fight that someone like Ryan Garcia is, R Ryan Garcia is just going to edge it for most of the... <coughs> <coughs> it's not COVID, don't worry. But he's going to edge it for most of the rounds. Um, but what's even more interesting is the fact that Ryan Garcia apparently... I, I think I saw it on Boxing247.com. He said... Uh, you know, even if he gets through this challenge, he'll become the mandatory for the WBC, WBC title that's held by uh, Devin Haney. Um, the franchise belt is held by Teofimo Lopez. So really, he's gonna he's not going to be a f f fighting Teofimo Lopez. He's going to be fighting Devin Haney. 
But even if he comes through this task, it's not guaranteed that he wants to fight him, which I think is crazy. You know, apparently he said he's prioritizing legacy fights um, more than just going for the belts and the money. But I'm confused by that because a fight with Devin Haney is, is, is almost, to me, I see it as like Sugar Ray Leonard versus Thomas Hearns. Maybe not that high, but you get what I'm saying, like two young champions, okay, you know, everyone is starting to appreciate them, at least in the boxing world, and they're going head to head. So hopefully we see that fight after. My money is on Devin Haney when it comes to the top of the pack. I think that Devin Haney and um Devin Haney and Lopez, those are the two guys that I think can rule the division if um Lopez doesn't move up. But anyway, I want to know what you guys think. So comment down below and let Remus know. Let me know who you think is going to win the fight. Let me know who or where you um rank Ryan Garcia as. Do you think he's just a social media boxing IG champion? You know, like I've seen some people say. Or do you think he's the real deal? So comment down below and let Remus, no.